So I had occasion to, to work with Vince Cerf, who's, who's really the father of the internet, <laughs> who he and his team developed the TCP IP protocols that, that all of the internet networking is based on. And he was, I asked him the question about, did he have any regrets about what they did in the early days of the internet? And he said that um, that separation of location and identity and address, if that had been done, a lot of these issues that we have with today's internet would, would not even exist because you would know who you were talking to and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't able to be spoofed or, or fished. So he was really emphasizing that if he could change all that, that would be the big thing that he would change. Well, HIP actually does that. It enables you to identify who it is that's on the other end of that pipe securely and enables you to control your environment and your infrastructure. Go back to the discussion, back to some original papers by Dr. Salzer back in, I think, 85. Um, at MIT uh, and some seminal um, um, papers that he wrote. Dr. Noel Chiappa um, was pushing this back in the original IP Next Generation work in the mid-90s. And what came to call called Endpoint Identity, which Dr. Steve Bellavin said, if you can't secure it, don't dare do it because here are the attacks. Hip gave a way to now to do it in a secure manner. Now the discussion is even moving forward to what's called identity-oriented networking, where the identity of the device is key on the net, with the networking infrastructure being the transport and what we call identity locator separation. So the network deals with locator. Where is the device now in the network? Where identity says, it's this device I wish to speak to. So there's a number of different approaches to address this. HIP is the only one that puts the effort in solely in the endpoint and makes it a provable endpoint identity without requiring infrastructure, third-party services to assert the identity of the device. So moving forward, when we look at where 5G and, and the number of devices we're going to be having in the future and the movement to mobility, ION is a very important effort and there will be multiple solutions for it. HIP will be one of the players in this new mobility world.